Oh hi guys, so in this video I just want to show you like um, how to match colors how to really, when you see a color you match it perfectly or uh, as best as possible to the color that you see and also I would like to know uh, if you can suggest me in the comments below uh, like what I should draw on the, my next because I will do a, a portrait on my next video so if you could tell me what you would like me to do you know just to get an idea if I have no nobody tells me anything I'll, I'll find something so so to show you this I have a magazine here and uh, here uh, I just picked it randomly so I have a color here so it's a little bit like a skin color or you know, any kind of color you can use so this is just an example to show you so I'm just gonna pick this one and um, I'm gonna try to match this color with my pencil so I have here the, um, the magazine so I picked this color because it's on the edge of the page so it's easier to um, to compare the color so right now I picked a few colors that I think they're the closest to this that's what you, you have to do when you start you just pick some colors that you think they are the closest possible to this so you don't have to to mix too much because uh, if they are already close to it you don't have to do too much work so what I suggest you to do is to do a practice like I do right now pick a magazine and find any color on the side that you can see and that doesn't have to be that big but any color that you see on one side could be like this this yellow here or this pink here just pick one color on the side of a, of a page press hard on the colors to see if they match so I do this one it's pretty close but not that much do this one next I'm pressing really hard to get the full color the full uh, full saturation I mean it's getting closer a little bit but not too much then I have this one and this one is much closer you see it's uh, it's getting closer to the, the original color. I'm gonna try this one, which is a little bit of lighter version of this one. So what I think is really both these both colors look quite a lot like this, especially this one I think. So what I do, uh, I picked one. Uh, I'll pick this one. So I will start with this, and I probably we'll mix it after with this one and maybe other ones I will see after so I pick this one to start so what I do, I'll do a big patch here to um, so you can see here so I'm gonna I'm not gonna press totally really hard but uh, because I'm gonna mix it because I'm never sure at the beginning if, if it's gonna be the final one because there's always uh, modifications to do it, so I don't like to press hard at the beginning. I'm gonna do it a little bit bigger. So I do this, okay. So now, now I want to mix this, so I uh, will mix it with uh, this one. It's a little bit of dar a darker version of this, so this one here. So now I'm pressing hard to mix it, but not too hard, I'm just filling the blanks, so I'm not pressing too hard. Already it starts to look a little close, not too much. So now I see that this is too much, too saturated compared to this, this is more of a lighter color. So I'm gonna bring this a little light. And to do this, instead of just uh, adding white to make it lighter, I see here I have a f uh, some colors like this, for example, that uh, they are light, but they are kind of a little bit close to this too. You know, they're not as close, but there's a there's. It seems it's a, it's a better fit to make uh, this light lighter. 
instead of using white. I could also use um, gray like this, but I'm gonna try with this. So what what you do and every time when you do a drawing, you try a, it's a try and error. So it's not always uh, the best fit all the time. So now I'm pressing hard because this is a light color, so I just I really want to mix everything together. Already it's pretty close. So it's really close. So for me it will almost be done, you know. Because you don't have to have a perfect match, you know. It's just good, close enough, but uh, when you do a drawing, a portrait, depends what, how you want to do it, but me normally I don't really try to match it that much. Just I don't want to spend hours <laughs> matching colors, so I'm just doing. So right now, it, for me, it's pretty much. Uh, I mean, I could add some um, some gray a little bit, but it won't change much. No, it's. Uh, I'll add a little bit more of this. Sorry. So that's pretty much it for matching like this. So yeah. So I suggest that you practice like this. You find any colors, like I said, uh, any kind of colors you find yellow here or whatever you find on the edge of a of a paper, and just try to match it. You know, do it like this. Try to match the color the best you can and then after uh, you do um, you, you put the color separately not you don't put it like this you just put it on the side then you do a color here and after you, you match it you, I mean after you check if it's good you know if, it, if you got it right because when you do a portrait or a drawing it's really hard to check the colors like if I'm drawing this I cannot really bring my paper in the middle here on the edge I can but in the middle it's a little hard to compare but uh, by doing exercises like this you no know, matching like this and on putting it on the side and doing it separately and at the end you, you check it you know this, this is a good uh, exercise to really uh, understand how, the, how to do it and then after you can draw from image on the computer uh, because when you are on the computer even if you put your paper next to the, on the screen, uh, it's not the screen is a light, you know. Uh, it's not really pigments, so it's a little bit different. But uh, I don't. You, I suggest you start first with the papers, you know, with actual colors right next to you that you can reference from. Uh, you should start with real, really actual uh, paper uh, colors next to you. That, that way you can really learn and then you can move to computers to see the uh, your model or your picture on the computer and then uh, it's really I suggest you start first with uh, using paper like this uh, you, you don't have to do many you know you just do a few and if you see that you're pretty good and it's pretty close you know I think you, you, you'll be okay and you know and then when you do a drawing, your portrait, you always have a sheet on the side like this that you do tests. You can fill your page, like for example, like this. You know, you can, oh, you can put all the, the colors that you do and really, really try it out. You know, you, you have to put a sheet on the side and you, you try all kind of colors. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot for your support and uh, just uh, subscribe and uh, comment below on the comments and just you know give me support uh, so i can continue this channel you know if i see that people uh, like it and subscribe and you know it, it will keep me going so so thanks a lot bye bye